Welcome to Rezobiz, where we take this. Yeah! And make it into this. Episode number nine, the Hot Rod Series. We're going to be building uh, the braces into the inside of the guitar, putting the neck block, tail block in. I was hoping to get to the neck, uh, or not the neck, but the back tip this week, but that didn't happen. Um, also, we will be uh, shaping the neck a little bit, and uh, it's starting to look more like a neck now, rather than a big giant paddle on the end of a stick. Um, stick around, and uh, we're going to have a fun little bit of a build this week. Hi, I'm Burl with Bro Guitars, and welcome to Rezo Biz, where everything is greater with a resonator. So I want to clean this thing up a little bit. I'm in my other shop, got my bigger table saw, and uh, run this through table saw to flatten this out, and then then there'll have to be some blocking to get it completely level. And really make sure it's nice. Square up the end, and then I'll get the big grinder and flatten the top and thickness the um, the whole thing a little bit so that we're about five eighths thick, and well, maybe a little less because we got a veneer to go on the top. So that's what I'm going to do now. So what I'm doing now is I am laying out my template, using my template, laying out the pattern on this head, and then I can cut away the excess so it doesn't look like a big gob. And it's not just for looks, I mean, I gotta get rid of it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, just lay this out. And I've already drawn my center line. I've marked where my back side of my nut or excuse me front side of my nut is in relation to where the fretboard will be more than enough wood there for that but it would not have been without the extra side pieces we put on. There we go. That will definitely work. All right, and I'll take it to the uh, bandsaw and whack off that extra. That's roughed out shape. Now we got some sanding to do and shaping, but that gets us close. Now my next step is I gotta get the really was start on the inside here. And I'm gonna get my uh, neck block, tail block figured out. I gotta adjust this curving just a little bit. Not quite fitting in there. That one's good. And I was thinking this this uh, neck block was too too short, but I remember now 
I had made these sides a little too tall and that's what's going on. They really need to be shaved down a little bit. So this thing's right at where it needs to be. So I think we're good there. The other thing is, is we have an F hole um, on the hot rod series. I put F holes in it. And so I, what I've got to do is I've got to make the bracing, oh, bracing to go on the inside right here so that the uh, F holes will be supported. And then we got bracing going on the sides. So I'm going to do the next steps of what we're doing. Alright, this is um, top bracing. This is how I do it. This is not what I do on all my guitars, but for the F holes, because big sections of this will be cut out. But this gives the top rigidity, so when I cut those big holes in it. And my F holes are kind of big, so that it lets the sound out. fitting. Just make sure everything is going to work good. Yep, it's going to work good. Alright. Get some glue on these things.
I'm just going to do them one at a time. So thank you for being with me on um, now episode number nine. Um, I didn't get as much done this week as I wanted. Uh, I didn't get the. I wanted to start on the back. I think we'll be able to start on that. We'll see that done next week, and we'll get some more of these braces in. I still need to sand the sides of these a lot smoother. Um, we'll get some braces on there. Measure out for the f holes. But mainly we're getting close to the back. Start going to start fitting that. IBMA is coming up um, the end of September. I hope you uh, will stop by the booth if you're planning on coming and uh, take a look. Maybe you get to pl play this one. Uh, no reason you couldn't. Stop by and I'll be glad to let you uh, play this. It'll be. I'm excited to start staining it and painting it. It's going to look so much different. So I see it in my head. But I'm, I'm sure you're not seeing it quite like I am. Um, and it might probably be a bit surprising when you do see it. But it's going to be, it is definitely going to be a one of a kind guitar. It's going to have a big sound. Um, so I would love for you to come out to the IBMA, play it. And then I, I said it before, there's going to be an auction. I'm going to auction it off. The starting price will be just what the cost of materials are for this guitar. And so you'll, hopefully you'll be a part of that too. Um, the IBMA last week of September. I don't know what the exact dates are, but look it up. Hopefully you can be there. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Oh, and if you liked it, subscribe. Push the like button down below. We have the Dobro in the, in the mold. And that is something that does something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are clap thing jigs, and this is uh, watch me. Mm -hmm. You got some nice sides, and here's the thing, watchy. Mm -hmm. Okay.